Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really cool video. I'm doing a plan a lesson with me. So I'm gonna do two of these videos. One is for a literature study. Um, so we pick one chapter book and we read that all month and um, we do activities based on that book, um, which usually has a theme. And then, um, and I'm also going to be doing just a regular like topic unit study. So for today's video I am doing a the literature study. It is it is the Imagination Station Attack at the Arena. So this is set in ancient Rome which I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite things to learn about. So this one is really fun and I'm, I had really a lot of fun planning it. Um, so here is what I did to plan this literature study. So at the beginning of the year, I kind of wrote down a rough plan of how I wanted things to go um, and what units I wanted to I wanted to accomplish. Um, and then it kind of got switched up a little bit and we're not going to get to one of them because in December, I had a bunch of Christmas books that I could put on our reading corner, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and so I, instead of doctors, for December, and we were only doing school for about two weeks, I decided to do a Christmas unit study. And then I moved doctors to January, and I kind of am just moving down everything. So we might not get to either one of these. I'll let um, Everly choose which one she wants to do, and then maybe we'll move the other one to next year. Or maybe we'll just split them up into two week sections. We'll see. Um, so this month, um, I'm planning for February. And I am doing, see I started out with the Magic Tree House books, but then I did a little bit more research and I decided to go with Imagination Station. Um, and so that's what we're doing. We're doing Imagination Station, Attack at the Arena. And I switch off between doing a literature study, study and then just like a regular um, topic study um, every other month so that we can also be doing literature as well. All right, so the next thing I do is I write down all the topics I would like to hit with this unit study. Sometimes I will hit them twice, depending on how many um, weeks we have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and list all of the topics that I would like to cover. All right, so we've got math, science, reading, writing. For writing right now at this age, since she's only in pre-K, we do, um, I just do like a little writing prompt. I write it and then she traces it and then she draws a picture. Um, life skills, poetry, art, music, history, entrepreneurship. I think that's super important to be able to think about different ways that you could work for yourself and um, just different options that you have in all the different areas. Geography, social studies, character building. We do a lot of um, character building. We pull verses from the Bible that have to do with whatever we're talking about or I look up inspirational people or quotes. We usually do a little activity or have a talk. And then I always try to um, research any kind of STEAM activity, um, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Um, and whatever topic like we're doing, so we'll be doing like kind of Roman-ish stuff so maybe there'll be like a roman steam project or something like that that we can work on so those are everything that i like to hit and i kind of just um cycle through them kind of like a loop um and whatever i started with these are these pretty much stay the same every time but i like to have them right in front of me so i know what i'm doing um and whatever i started with last month um, which I'll find out here in a second. I'll move on to the next one. So if we started with like writing last month, um, I'll be starting with history this time and then we'll just loop through each day will be a different um, topic. The ones that are highlighted are the more fun ones that I like to save for fun Fridays. And so we don't do any book work on Fridays, but we do have an activity that we do and I like to keep it fun with something like one of these. Life skills could be anything from baking. Um, this past unit study we learned about hygiene and we made a fun hygiene checklist and stuff like that. So these things are all I like to save for fun Fridays. Okay, so the reason why I have two notebooks is one, this is like my first draft, writing down ideas quickly, 
messy handwriting scribbles notebook kind of where I just like to get everything out fast while I'm planning and then once I'm done planning I like to move it over into a nice notebook so that way I can keep these I don't know lesson plans or whatever um, and I can look back on them if I ever want to do them again maybe with my son and um, and it's nice and neat and not confusing like these so that is why I have two notebooks. So I'll put this one away for now. And I will be copying whatever I write into that one whenever I am done. I also like to kind of like whenever I'm working, set the mood a little bit. And I love, I've been loving candles lately. So um, this one has definitely been mine and my husband's favorite. It is so good. Sand and Fog Bonfire. Oh, it's wonderful. And then I usually have like a drink or something just to stay comfortable because sometimes this takes a while. Okay. So what I do is I start out writing the theme on the top. I write how many days I'm going to do and I figure that out with my calendar. And then um, I go over, we always have vocabulary that we practice. And then, um, so I write down what vocabulary words might be good, definitions, and I usually look up like kid vet definitions for them so that they're simple and more easy to remember. And she works on memorizing them every day. And by the end of the unit, she's got them no problem. Um, then I write about books, um, from stuff from the library that I'll get, and then stuff that I would like to buy, because I do like to have one or two books from every unit to keep as a memory. And then I write down each week, week one, week two, week three, um, and all the days and what we're doing, what, um, what uh, topic or what subject that is for that day and then the idea for that day. And so I will go through this whole process with you and show you how I do this. So, oh, with doctors and nurses, so we started with, day one is always vocabulary and then just like a fun video and coloring page. So that's always day one. So we started with entrepreneurship last time. So this time we will start with geography. So what I do with the literature ones is if I know Okay, well first let's start our title page. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we have what our unit is, and then I'm going to look into my calendar here and see how many days we have. I have my year at a glance. Where is it? Okay, so my year at a glance, and I see how many days we have, how many weeks we have. So this one is going to be for February. So we have one, two, we have a break here, and then three. So we have three weeks for this unit study. Um, so three times five is 15, so 15 days. So that I know how many days to plan, how many topics I need to plan for. Um, so every year at the beginning of the year, and I can do a whole different video on this, and <laughs> I know this is extreme for pre-K, trust me, I know, but I want to get used to planning because next year I have to be able to stick to this it's required by my state that we do 180 days, so I have to plan out what days or what, how many days we um, do school. So first I will do, go over with my, my vocabulary words, and since this is a literature study what I'm, I'm gonna wait until I maybe see a vocabulary word in here and then I'll write them down I usually try to do about as how however many years old she is as how I how many vocabulary vocabulary words I would like to try to have sometimes it's one more sometimes it's one less it just kind of depends but um, with the with the literature I'm gonna read it and then as I come across a word that I think that she should know um, or she would have a question about, then I'll write it down here, get a um, a kid's version def definition for it. Um, and then also, I'll probably see, and I plan these a little bit different for topic unit studies. I do all this first, and then I plan the other part. But for this one, I find it easier to read the book and come up with the plans first and then not, then we know what's what's in here then I can plan the vocabulary and then the books to get that way it can correlate really well with the book so we know how many days we need and we're gonna go ahead and just plan chapter by chapter um, 
each lesson plan here. Okay, and so the next thing I do is I look to see how many chapters are in this book so I know how to break the book up. Last time it worked out so perfectly. Um, I think there was like 14 chapters in a 15 day um, unit study and so we just had like an extra day to do an activity so that worked out so good. Okay, so. Yep, look, 15, perfect. So every day we'll read one chapter and that'll, and then I'll find something in that chapter that goes with the topic that I wanna cover for that day. And I like doing it that way because if I find something in the chapter, I'm like, oh, that would be good. Then I could repeat a lot of topics. And then, but if I have the topic already picked out first, then I kind of have to challenge myself to find something in that in that material to really talk about it with that specific topic. And you can find it with anything. I didn't have that much trouble with the last book. You could do it the other way around and just whatever you find in that chapter, talk about one thing in there. Um, but I like to kind of challenge myself a little bit and do it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the first chapter and then I'll get back on here when I'm done and then we will talk about what I found for a geography lesson. Oh, in a prologue, so yeah. I'm going to read, I'm not gonna put anything in the prologue. Um, I'm going to just read the prologue and the chapter one, probably all at once on the same day. Okay, so here I go. Okay, so um, for day one, we're gonna read chapter one, like I said, and we're gonna be doing the vocab, video, and coloring page. Um, so then I went ahead and read day two because that's when we're going to do the geography. I always forget that we're starting with this and I always think we're going to start with one of the topics. But this is what we're doing for day one, which is good because there's, they're not really like back in time yet. And they're still in the little shop that they are in. Um, geography, um, we are going to be, since they're going back to Rome, we are going to be talking about Rome. Now what I like to do, I put what I kind of have in mind and then I go to Pinterest I go to Pinterest and then I um search like let's see Roman geography for kids activities to Okay, so this is usually where I get a lot of my ideas. I will just look around Pinterest or Google, or if I kind of have already something in mind, I will do that. Usually for geography, I just print out a map of wh whatever it is, and I have her color it, or maybe a flag, um, and have her color it while she watches a video about that place. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to look through here for a little while, see if I find anything. If I don't, then I'll probably just do that. All right, so I did see some good ideas on Pinterest for other activities, um, and I will keep that those in mind. And I also create a um, a like folder, a whole saved pin just under the the topic of my unit study. That way, I can save those and go back to it. But for now, I think I'm just going to print a map of ancient Rome. Um, we will kind of go over the different places like Rome, Athens, Carthage. Um, all of all of those different places. She'll color it and then we'll probably just watch a video about ancient Rome and maybe what it was like there, um, stuff like that. So um, I like to save these and then at the end of all my planning I print out all of the pages that I save and then I'm just gonna go ahead and write, where'd my pen go? Oh my gosh, it's such a yellow light, sorry guys. Um, I'm going to write color map and I'm usually not super detailed about this because I know what I mean and then in the second um, journal over there I'll be a little bit more detailed so that I can remember next time color map and um, video okay and then I will also at the end of this I go through everything and I find all the videos that I want to do this is just the point where I read and then I write down what I would like to do and then at the end I print any printables I need to print and then I find any videos I need to find all right so then day three and I usually do like a, oh and I should probably see let me go through my calendar real quick all right so oh that works out perfect so day one will be uh, a Monday 
so this will be on Monday through Friday. Sometimes um, they kind of work out funny, but that works out great. And so it kind of all just depends on when everything lands. Okay, day three. So the next thing on here is social studies. This one I find kind of hard because social studies is can be like such a broad range of things. So I kind of have to look up sometimes the different things that social studies covers. And then I will read the chapter kind of pick one of those things. Usually it's about like how people lived or I don't know, something like that. So I'm going to read chapter three for day three. I'm gonna write chapter two on day two as well. I sometimes I forget to do that. Um, I'm gonna read chapter three and then try to find, pick out something in there for social studies. Okay, so I thought this was interesting. Oh, hold on, let me put up to the top here. So this is the um, national like standards or whatever for social studies. So there's culture, Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Time and change, people, places, and environments, individual development um, and identity, individuals, groups, and institutions, power, authority, and governance, um, production, issue, distribution, and consumption, science, technology, and society, global connections, civic ideals and practices. So all of these different things, this gives me a good idea of what to look for. I'm probably gonna do um, look for something in, in culture um, because they're probably going to arrive in Rome in this chapter and they're going to observe something different in their culture so I'm going to see what that is okay so um, I forgot to tell you that I did find some vocabulary words Ooh, right here so I found Rome ancient and ancestor um, and then I'm just gonna look for one more but um, in this chapter they found themselves in an arena with a tiger. So I think I'm going to talk about that culture of how they would, um, like the gladiators and the arenas and stuff like that and why that tiger would have been in there and kind of what happened with that. So, so right now I'm just going to kind of research. I'm going to look through Pinterest. I'm going to look through YouTube, see if there's any videos on it. Um, see if there's anything. All right, so I found a couple of videos on YouTube about the Colosseum and gladiators. Um, so I'm going to be looking at my options with that, um, but I am just gonna put video here. And we'll watch either a video about that or I also have other streaming services that I could look to see if they have anything on them and we can actually watch a documentary on it. Um, so we'll see, I just, I'm gonna put video there and sometimes she can just watch a whole video, sometimes she needs something to color. Um, so maybe I'll have her draw a picture of what she learned or draw a picture of a gladiator or the Colosseum or something like that. So um, video, maybe draw a picture. Okay, so that's, that's that. Um, and then I will go through and I will pick which one we do and then I'll probably write down like if it's on YouTube or Curiosity Stream or whatever once I find it. But right now I don't like to take the time to really find that because sometimes it takes me a while um, and sometimes I need a break but I like to get this all planned out first. Alright, day four which will be a Thursday. Um, the next one is character building. I'll read chapter four and I'll look for something that they did whether someone was maybe brave or helpful or well helpful was in our last unit study so probably not that one um, but I'll pick something that the character did and then we'll talk about why that was good we'll bring up bible verses stuff like that so i'm going to go ahead and read chapter four and see what i can find okay so i found my last word and it is slave so one of the cousins is dressed up as a slave to blend in and then also the slave just um saved them from a tiger in the arena um so i think that would also be a really good opportunity to sit down and talk about slavery and what exactly that meant and why we don't have it today so i think that'd be also a really good discussion um but for our character building um he since he saved them i'm going to go ahead and write brave then what i'm going to do is look up um a bible verse i'm going to um just kind of think of again go to pinterest see if there's anything that we can do for activity for bravery um, and then I will be back and I will write, I'll write the verse down so I don't forget it and whatever we might be doing for that day. All right. So I found on Pinterest this free, um, printable and I think I'm going to see if I can find that book. 
um, and it comes with quite a few pages of different things and she'll definitely do this one. I already downloaded it. Um, so we'll go over a Bible verse, we'll do this, um, and then this says, you know, what does it mean to be brave? So we will do that activity. Wow, it's so yellow. Sorry, I have yellow lights, guys, see? I need to switch those. Okay. There, that looks a little better. Okay, it doesn't look quite as yellow now. Um, okay, so yeah, there we go. So, day five is a fun Friday. So we're gonna go, instead of going to the next thing down here, we're gonna go up here. Um, and again, I loop through these. I'm gonna see what I did last time to start with, because I like to hit different things. Oh, wait, I don't know, give that a little bit of mix up, more for me than for her. Um, we did music first last time, so this time we'll start with life skills. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and read chapter five and try to find a life skill in there that we can um, talk about, practice, work on, whatever. Okay, so in this chapter, um, a Roman soldier found the little girl who was dressed as a slave and they were kind of trying to run away and um, not let the soldiers catch them, but one did catch her and picked her up and took her. So this is actually perfect because lately we've been talking a lot to Everly about stranger danger and what to do if somebody comes up to her, tries to get her to go with them, um, try, picks her up and takes her like in the book. So we're going to kind of uh, reiterate that and maybe do some uh, role playing with that. Since it's um, something we're already um, learning, and I did tell her we were going to practice we will do that and then maybe we'll also watch a video about safety, stuff like that. So, um, um, stranger danger, role play, and then uh, maybe a video. Um, so we'll do that. I mean, yeah, totally fun, right? But hey, I mean, at least it's not like, you know, book work or anything. Um, and then we'll, so that'll be chapter five. Okay, so that'll be, and I like to break it up there, um, and then we'll go to week two. Mm, let's see, and day six. Okay, so now we'll be going back to this, and we are going to be doing a steam activity, which I found something really fun on Pinterest, so let me show, let me find it, and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I wanted to show you something that was super cool, um, like, that kind of is just proof, sorry, that if you do go through this prayerfully and with such good intentions that things just kind of really just work out. So in the couple days before, um, um, let's see, on day four, we talked about bravery and courage. And then here in two chapters later, it says you have great courage, but you lack wisdom. And so I thought that was cool how that kind of tied in um, because it never mentioned bravery or courage, the words in that chapter that I um, picked that out of, I just picked what the character did. So that's really cool that it kind of just worked its way around. And then also what I love about these books um, is that they talk about God, um, which is another reason why I chose these books and not uh, Magic Treehouse. Um, but here it says, um, what does God want you to do in Rome? I don't know, said the monk. He put another piece of meat in his mouth. It is for God to know. It is for me to obey and go. So I just thought that was really cool. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Something that I really like about um, these books. Okay, so, um, all right, so, um, for, um, STEAM, I saw this when I was looking up Roman activities for kids, and this is how to build a model of a Roman road, so I thought this would be cool for, like, an engineering, the engineering part of STEAM. Um, so I'm going to look up this activity, I'm going to save it, and then we will probably be doing this activity also in that chapter. They talked about walking down a road, so I know it's not like, it's like one little thing, but then, you know, I can go back to that and be like, you know how they're walking down a road? You want to see what, you know, their road would have looked like? So we're going to be doing this activity. So I'm going to write that down, and then I'm going to make sure that I have the instructions in here, and I'm going to save it. All right, so I'm glad that I read those instructions because this is kind of like an all day overnight also project. So um, um, I'm gonna write that as a note, has to sit overnight. All right, so next is day seven. The next um, topic is math. 
So I'm going to read the next chapter and then I'm going to see if there's anything I can incorporate into a math activity. Alright, so I didn't really find anything in that chapter to really correlate with math, but considering they're in Rome, we are going to do this activity, Roman, nu Roman numerals craft. So I thought this would be super fun to do, and it has to do with numbers, and we can go with, you know, I'll teach her what, what each one means and everything like that so she can practice those and have them as kind of like flashcards. So, okay, so Roman numerals craft, and then that was chapter... All right, day eight is science. So I'm going to go ahead and read chapter eight and see what we've got there. Okay, so this one was super fun chapter for science. So in this, it was a lot about birds and the birds that the emperor kept. So we're going to read, um, learn about peacocks, chickens, and brown sparrows because those are the ones that were mentioned in the book. And then also the girl in there was, um, she was posing as a slave that fed the birds. So we're, she had a package of bird seed and she started to feed the birds. So I thought it'd be fun to get some bird seed and feed birds outside um, and kind of just tie that all in together. So that's what we're going to be doing for science. I tried to find a, like, a recipe for ancient Roman bird seed and I couldn't find anything. So that would have been really fun to make um, and then go do that. But to keep it a little more simple, and I because I couldn't find a recipe, I'm just going to buy some bird seed, and we are going to do that. All right, so day nine is reading. Okay, so this one's easy. I'm still going to read that chapter so I can be caught up on the reading, but on reading days, we always just read extra books. So um, we read our chapter, and then we read two more books. Okay, and then that will be chapter uh, chapter nine. Okay, so um, reading two more books, and we get like sh you know short picture books from the library or that we buy. So um, I'll have her pick a book, and I'll pick a book. We'll read our chapter, and then we'll read two more books, and then that's our reading day. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go read. Well, I guess I'll read both chapters while I'm at it. Um, I'm gonna read chapter nine and chapter ten. And for chapter 10, I'm looking for writing. So we do writing prompts, like I said before. So I'm just going to read that chapter and look for a prompt in there that she can answer a question. Okay, so I didn't find a whole lot in that chapter um, to prompt um, some writing, but I am. it does have to do with the book. So I will ask, um, let's see. <laughs> um, if you were in ancient Rome, would you rather be a monk, a slave, or an emperor? Because those are like the three kind of main um, people in this story. So I'm going to go ahead and write that, and then that will be her writing prompt. All right, so that was chapter 10. Now we'll go, uh, oh shoot, One, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so <laughs> this is why I need a scribble. Um, journal because I forgot this would be a Friday so we would actually be doing a fun Friday thing here so I'm going to move the writing down to um, let's see we'll do week three which is that last week and then we'll do day 11 writing and then we'll like circle that see this is exactly why I do this and we're gonna put it down here Okay, so day 10, do this over, will actually be poetry. So for poetry, we do poetry tea time. Um, and so that will be chapter 10. And that will be chapter 11. Um, so for poetry tea time, I will pick like the theme. So I'll find maybe ancient Roman poems or poems about ancient Rome or poems about gladiators or something with the um, with the theme. And then we'll do our poetry tea time. I will probably do a separate video about how we do poetry tea time. Um, we don't do this long thing because she's only four, so she has a smaller attention span. But um, it's really fun to be able to do poetry. I pick some poems and then she'll pick a poem. So, um, 
Okay, poetry tea time for fun Friday. Then on Monday we'll do the writing prompt. So there we go. And then so day 12 um, will be history. I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 11 and then chapter 12. And then in chapter 12, I'm going to see if there's anything specific in here I'd like to talk about in regards to history. If not, we'll just look at history of ancient Rome. But I'm going to go ahead and read it and see if there's anything specific. Okay, so for history in this chapter, I had a couple of options. They were in the middle of like the gladiator um, games and things like that. And then also... Um, this monk was talking to the emperor about Christianity and about how it was um, basically if you follow Christ it was wrong to sit there and encourage death of men in this you know brutal way so I had the option of maybe gladiators or maybe Christianity in Rome I'm going to take the option of Christianity in Rome just because it's a little more positive and I don't want to be too um, I don't know brutal I guess with um, my four-year-old and um so i was just googling um whew, christianity and ancient rome and there's just lots of stuff in here so what i'm going to do is later i'm going to um when i go find all my source material i am going to um find a website maybe like an article or something that i can read and learn about and point out things that i can talk to everly about and then um, maybe possibly find a video if there's one for kids. So we're just going to talk about the um, history of Christianity in Rome. Um, and let's see if maybe Pinterest has an activity. So um, since she is so young and she can't really dive so deep into history stuff, we're going to be super surface level of this stuff and we're going to definitely as she gets more interested in things and as you know she gets older and can retain more information we're going to be going into a lot more detail about things like this but this is all just kind of introductory and just showing her kind of what it was like and maybe just something will stick in her brain and then that's why we also do the coloring page so that it's not like super boring okay so day 13 will be entrepreneurship. So I'm going to go ahead and read chapter, oh, so look, that chapter, what was that, 12, I think, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 13, see if there's any way I can tie in entrepreneurship, maybe there's like a stand where they sell things, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I'll be back and see, tell you what I find. All right, so this one was a challenge um, because there wasn't a whole lot of material that I could have taken from here. Um, so since they are having like these games, um, I decided that she'd be like an event organizer and for we would pay her uh, to plan a game night. And then she can kind of go through everything that she might need to do um, for that plan the games, plan what order we would do them if we needed snacks or drinks or things like that and maybe create a budget for it, um, something like that. So we figure out how she would do that and then she can offer to do that for other people, um, you know, maybe like Nana or something like that, not like, <laughs> like for real, but you know, to practice doing something like that. I, I just like to have her practice doing different things, explore different options that she can take and be creative with it. All right, so that was kind of hard. That took a little bit of thought. So uh, day 14, um, we have, okay, so we have geography one more time. Um, I'm going to read the next chapter. Oh, chapter, I always forget to write these. Uh, 13. I'm going to read chapter 14, see if there's anything that will give me inspiration. If not, I'm going to do a, a, a lot more thinking again to see what else we can do here. Since it talks about kind of like mountain range, regions and different things that they had in Rome, I thought we could go outside and compare our surroundings to what we have here and what they had in ancient Rome and see what was the same, what was different. Um, so, day 15, the last day is um art so we didn't get to all of these right here oh you know what maybe what i'll do since i didn't get to all of these and then i did geography twice maybe i will um 
again, see, this is why I have like a rough draft. I think I'm going to just get out of that. Maybe I'll move some of these things. I'm gonna save that website because I actually really liked that. And um, I'll probably move that to the first day of geography. And instead, let's do art here and then music here. That way I got all of my um, topics covered. So sometimes, because whenever we have four weeks that we do in a, um, a unit study, I will be doing things, uh, topics more than once, which gives me lots of good ideas. We can do different things to make sure it sticks, um, whatever topic that is or subject that is. Um, but since we have the perfect amount here, um, we'll just go ahead, that way we get music in as well. So I am going to read the last chapter, I'm going, then I'm going to look up different art and music activities we can do, and that will be the end of those, and then next we'll look at books. All right, so for art, we are going to make an ancient Rome mosaic. Um, I found examples on Pinterest here, which were really cool. So there was this one that I thought, and I think once you click on that, it has other examples. Um, and then how to make Roman mosaics. So we're going to make something similar to this. Um, and then for music, we're going to research, um, do videos, have a little dance party with any kind of um, Roman music. We'll research it and learn what they did, how music was a part of their lives. Um, kind of like a music appreciation kind of thing. So, because um, I couldn't really find any activities or instruments to make or anything like that. So. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to look up the uh, definitions, then I'm going to, what I do to find books is I go to the library website, I put in the search different words, like I'll put Rome, ancient Rome, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I'll put any kind of keywords I can think, I'll look through all of the different activities that we're doing and see if there's anything I can point out. And I did want to see if there was that one book for the Brave and Courage Day. Um, so I'll look through that. I will pick out some books to um, put on hold at the library and then once they are ready, I will go pick them up. I will also then look on Amazon and do the exact same thing, just kind of search. I really like to find, um, for most of our unit studies, I found National Geographic Kids um, uh, that has to do with the topic, So I and I bought those. So I would really like to find one of those for Ancient Rome. I think that'd be really fun. Um, and anything else I'd like to keep. So I'm going to go do that because that you can, it's not really something that would be interesting to be filmed. So I'm going to do that, fill all this out, and then I will be back to show you what that looks like, and then that'll be it. All right guys, so I'm done. Again, very sloppy, but I'm going to be making it nicer um, in the next journal. So I have all of my definitions here for Rome, ancient, ancestor, slave. Um, and let's see, ancestor was a hard one. That's gonna be a difficult one. I probably will have to figure out a way to put that more simply. Um, but yeah, so I got those definitions. Um, and then for books, there was a ton at the library. These are all that I put on hold. So I have Ancient Rome, Ancient Rome, You Are in Ancient Rome, Costume of Ancient Rome, Exploring Ancient Rome, Gladiator, Life and Death in Ancient Rome, Col The Colosseum. And these are the ones I'm going to buy. So How to Be a Roman Soldier by National Geographic. I did find that Be Brave Little One book, so I'm going to buy that by Marianne Richmond and Rome and Romans, and this is an Us Born time traveler book. I've heard really great things about the Us Born books. So um, yeah, those are everything we're going to do. I have all of these that I'm gonna buy in my Amazon, oop, that is my baby, in my Amazon cart. And um, later in the week, we'll be picking up all of our library books. So that's it guys, that is our, how I plan a literature unit study. Be on the lookout for the next unit study I'm going to plan, which is just a plain topic one, which is a little bit more simple to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye.